All right, everybody. So as we mentioned before in the last video, um, after we started clearing the land and uh, all the Johnson grass, which you can see is, we're getting getting there. We're getting there. That's where the tunnels are going to go. Um, we end up with this well. Um, it is, we've got the pressure tank. It's all here, but it doesn't work. It's out. I wear gloves around here. I gotta clear that cactus out. But there it is. There was actually a beehive in it. Down there, I can actually see the glimmer of water. Um, there's a rope around here. The rope goes to the pump to pull the pump out. But uh, it's you know it's it's obviously it's got uh, here's some hive in there. It has the uh, the pipe that goes down there to bring the water up. But my big thing was I wanted to see if we got any power out here. So when I kind of trace the direction of that power line, it goes right out here to the meter, and somebody put a sub panel out here. Now I'm not going to say it's very good. It's going to have to be replaced because you see the breaker doesn't even really stay on. But if we uh, put our leads up to it, I got to do this one hand. I don't have any help here. We put our leads up to it though. Okay, our voltmeter. We got 240 volts, so we got power there. So if I, I kind of push that up there, they're off right now. You can see it says off. Hopefully that'll stay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it some power. Okay, we're gonna go up underneath here and we're gonna hit the leads coming through the breakers. See what we get. 240 volts. So we're passing power out to the wellhead at least. So let's go out to the wellhead now. Coming out here. Take this cover off so we can get to the uh, electrical. It's all pretty bad. <laughs> it's got spider webs on it and everything. So let's see what we get for power out here. So two of these come in from the uh, meter, and then two of these go out and down to the pump. I know the pump's not working because there's water down there. It's probably this uh, electrical junction. I don't even know what this is called. There's names for all these parts. I, I don't know what they're all called. That's something I want to figure out. But anyway, let's get some power going here. There we go. So we're on. There you go. 245 volts, 240. So we got power all the way out to the wellhead. What's not happening is, so that's these two here. That that's these these go these are coming from the pole. So if I go to these two, these are going to be going out to the to this is going to go out to the pump. And as you can see, I've got nothing. So that pump's not going. Now, if I move over, I'm just going to leave the camera on the, the voltmeter. If I go over back to the leads coming in, it jumps back up 240. So I'm getting 240 out here to the pump, but I'm not. That's 240. When I move over to the pump, this comes from, from the well, I get nothing. So I'm not getting a transference of power through this thing here, which is fine. That can be replaced. I don't even know if the pump works. If the pump's down there and working, if I need to replace this, I don't know at this point. What I do know is that that circuit, that circuit breaker, that panel, uh, it needs it needs to be replaced. I mean, there's just no doubt about that. It's it's in bad shape. It's it's rusted out. I pulled one of the circuits earlier, the one that that you could see hanging off. I better close this back up. The people that lived here six years ago had raised, kept honeybees, and uh, their uh, their their uh, veils are still in the house, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm going to keep those, just kind of nostalgic for people that used to live here. But anyway, um, so this box needs to be replaced because when like if I turn these off doesn't matter if I pull this out you can see it's rusted in there 
so these breakers I, I don't know it's it's just not real uh, real real healthy right there but the whole point here is that we get power all the way out to the wellhead but not to the pump so I'm real excited about that okay everybody it's been a week um, came back out, out. I come out on, on weekends to work out here. And uh, so we're back at the well. There's just something on the side that we're trying to do. And I'm just testing it here. I've got the, I kind of fixed the breaker, pushed the pins in so it wouldn't fall out. What we're going to do is we're going to hook the, um, we're going to bypass the pressure switch here. And we're going to um, tie the two wires together directly to the pump. And we're going to see if, uh, if the pump works and see if we even get water. I mean, that would be, you know, kind of cool. Um, go over here and open the, the valve, but um, get all this stuff off. There we go. So I've got no, I got no power out here. That's good. Just wanted to always verify that. It would not be a good thing to have power when I'm going to go come out here and pull these wires off. We got everything hooked up. Um, I had to really tear apart the pressure switch. You can see. All the contacts in it are burned out. I mean, that's why it wasn't working. So anyway, we just wired it directly to the pump. Um, we got the valve open. We're gonna go turn it on, and we'll just see what uh, what happens if uh, if the pump even works. We don't even know at this point whether the pump works or not. And uh, so let's let's try it and see. Here we go. I saw smoke come out of that breaker, but we got power. And we got water. <laughs> That's really awesome. So even our pump works. How about that? It's been going for about five minutes now um, with no issue at all. I mean, I haven't even had any surges or anything to that effect. Um, man, it's strong too. Holy cow. Water's cold coming out. Doesn't smell bad either. Um, just smells a little bit, a little, little bit dirt. I mean, that's gonna happen though. So uh, you can actually see up here, it looks like the pressure gauge is working. We got, uh, we're running at what, about 20, let's see, about 23 PSI coming out. Oh shoot, I just opened it up even more. There we go. So closed off. Yeah, it's going up. I can't, I can't do it much too long because um, that pump isn't supposed to run like this continuous. But uh, it, was, it was a way to try the well and see if we had water, which we do. I can, I can actually feel the pump running down there, so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off now, though. Um, what we're going to have to do is... Oops, let me put some gloves on. That thing smoked when I, when I, uh, when I hit the breaker, but I think it was just simply because there was um, it's dirty in there. And quite honestly, this... This whole box has to be replaced. There we go. So power's off. It'll take a take a minute here to depressurize. But uh, there we go. So days well spent has a, a well. I'm real excited about that. Now what we need to do is it does have a pressure tank. Um, it's a well troll. That's a good good brand. I don't know if the diaphragm inside is any good. Um, I've got a compressor out here, but what I don't have is a pressure gauge. So I really can't, can't check that. Um, but if you, wanna, if you wanna contribute, we'd really appreciate it. Um, on, uh, Margaret's got links to uh, Amazon products to where uh, you, can, you can buy stuff for us and it'll, it'll ship directly to us. Um, it would really help. I've got a whole well uh, set up ready to, you know, on, online ready to go to buy. So if somebody wants to, you know, help us out with that, like, you know, the pressure switch assembly with, with a new gauge and everything is uh, $100, $110. So, you know, we'd really appreciate it. We like doing these videos, but um, quite honestly, you know, we're not, we're not made of money. So um, it's, it's hard and we could really use the help.